Welcome to a journey into the fascinating world of space exploration. Today, we'll explore Mars and the startling discoveries made by the Curiosity rover. Let's start with the basics. Mars, often referred to as the Red Planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest in our solar system. It's known for its reddish appearance, caused by iron oxide or rust on its surface. This fascinating planet has been a subject of interest for centuries, but it's only in the past few decades that we've been able to explore it in depth. Enter the Curiosity rover, a car-sized robotic explorer that's been studying the Martian surface since August 2012. The mission of the Curiosity rover driven by NASA is to determine whether Mars ever had the conditions to support microbial life, among other things. This six-wheeled, nuclear-powered science lab on wheels has been taking detailed measurements, snapping stunning photos, and sending back invaluable data to scientists on Earth. Why is this important, you may ask? Well, exploring Mars is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it helps us understand more about our own planet, Earth. By studying Mars, we can learn about Earth's past and future. Secondly, it pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and technology. And lastly, it could pave the way for human exploration, and potentially, colonization of Mars, in the future. The Curiosity rover plays a significant role in this exploration. Its detailed observations provide insights into the Martian climate and geology, and more importantly, whether life, as we know it, could have existed there. Equipped with a suite of sophisticated instruments, the rover has been drilling, scooping, sieving, and delivering samples to its onboard laboratories for detailed chemical analysis. Now that we know what the Curiosity rover is, let's delve into the discoveries it has made. The Curiosity rover began its mission in 2012 with a specific purpose. Imagine a high-tech exploration vehicle, fully equipped and ready to unravel the mysteries of a completely different world, Mars. The Curiosity rover was designed with a clear goal in mind, to investigate whether the Red Planet could have ever supported microbial life. This six-wheeled mobile laboratory about the size of a car was tasked with exploring the Gale Crater, a vast and intriguing area that holds billions of years of Martian history within its layers. But how is the Curiosity rover equipped to accomplish such an ambitious mission? Well, it's a marvel of modern engineering and science. The rover carries an array of sophisticated tools and instruments. It has a rock vaporizing laser and a drill to collect samples. It's equipped with a weather station to monitor atmospheric conditions and a radiation detector to measure the radiation environment. And let's not forget its cameras, capable of capturing breathtaking panoramic and microscopic images. But the real magic comes when the Curiosity rover uses its onboard laboratory to analyze the collected samples. It's able to identify chemical elements and their ratios, as well as organic compounds, the building blocks of life as we know it. The mission of the Curiosity rover is not just about collecting data, but also about interpreting it. Its findings are helping us understand Mars's geological and climate history and whether life could have ever existed there. Over the past decade, the rover has been traversing the Martian landscape, climbing hills, and descending into valleys. It's been a journey of over 14 miles, driven by the spirit of human curiosity and the desire to expand our knowledge about the universe. And the Curiosity rover is not done yet. With each passing Martian day or soul, it continues its exploration, its wheels leaving tracks on the red dust, a testament to our quest for understanding. The Curiosity rover has been busy collecting data and making discoveries. So, what are these discoveries? Well, stay tuned as we delve into the startling findings of this extraordinary mission on Mars. One of the most significant discoveries by the Curiosity rover is the evidence of water on Mars. Imagine a Mars that was once teeming with water, with rivers winding through valleys and lakes filling vast basins. This may sound like a scene out of a science fiction novel but it's a picture painted by the Curiosity rover's findings. The rover detected sedimentary rocks, which are typically formed in the presence of water. These rocks, layered and stacked, indicate that water might have been present in a persistent manner, in the form of lakes and rivers. This discovery doesn't just stop at geological evidence. The rover also found traces of water in the Martian soil and atmosphere. It's not a lot, but it's there, locked up in the tiny nooks and crannies of the Red Planet. So what does this mean for our understanding of Mars? Well, it's a game-changer. Water is one of the key elements to life as we know it. Its presence on Mars, even in the past, opens a myriad of possibilities. Was there once life on Mars? Could there be life now, nestled deep under the surface? The discovery of water has given these questions a whole new level of seriousness. 
Moreover, this finding also influences our future for Mars. Water, or more specifically the ability to extract it from the Martian environment, would be crucial for any long-term human mission or colonization effort on Mars. It's not just about survival. Water can also be turned into rocket fuel, making Mars a potential pit stop for further space exploration. Water on Mars isn't just a discovery, it's a door, a gateway that has opened endless possibilities for the future of space exploration. From the potential for life, to the prospects of human colonization, the presence of water has changed the way we perceive the red planet. Water on Mars, a concept that was once science fiction is now science fact thanks to the Curiosity rover. Another startling discovery made by the Curiosity rover is the presence of organic molecules. Now what are organic molecules? In the simplest terms, these are molecules that contain carbon atoms. Carbon, as we know, is the fundamental building block of life as we understand it. It's present in everything from the food we eat to the air we breathe. So, how did the Curiosity rover stumble upon these molecules on Mars? Well, it drilled. It drilled into the Martian surface and analyzed the rock samples. The rover's onboard laboratory, SAM, Sample Analysis at Mars, heated the rock samples and examined the released gases. That's when it detected volatile organic compounds, the first direct evidence of organic material on Mars. But why is this significant? You see, the discovery of organic molecules doesn't necessarily mean there's life on Mars. But it does mean that Mars has, or at least had, the right ingredients to support life. This is a crucial piece of the puzzle in our understanding of Mars's potential to harbor life, either in the past or even now. Let's put this into perspective. Imagine you're trying to bake a cake. You've got your flour, sugar, eggs, and butter. You've got all the ingredients, but that doesn't mean you've got a cake. The same applies to life. Organic molecules are the ingredients. They're necessary but not sufficient. To find life, we'd need to find a whole host of other conditions and molecules. But even so, the discovery of organic molecules on Mars is a huge step forward. It's a testament to Mars's potential to support life, and it opens a world of possibilities for future exploration. We're not just looking for water anymore, we're looking for the building blocks of life, and we're finding them. Organic molecules on Mars? Yes, it's a reality, and it's a big deal. But the Curiosity rover didn't stop there. The Curiosity rover made another intriguing discovery. Seasonal methane spikes on Mars. Now you might be wondering what are these seasonal methane spikes? Well, simply put, they are fluctuations in the level of methane gas in the Martian atmosphere that follow a seasonal pattern. The discovery of these methane spikes was quite by chance. Curiosity rover, equipped with a laser spectrometer, was able to detect and measure the amount of methane in the Martian atmosphere. Over a Martian year, which is about two Earth years, the rover detected a surprisingly repetitive pattern. Methane levels would rise and fall, peaking in the late summer in the northern hemisphere and dropping in the winter. But why is this discovery so exciting? Briefly, it's because methane, here on Earth, is often produced by living organisms. Yes, you heard that right, organisms. Now don't jump to conclusions just yet. While the presence of methane can be a sign of biological activity, it can also be produced by geological processes such as interactions between water and rock. The Curiosity rover's finding of seasonal methane spikes on Mars has sparked a lot of interest and speculation. Could there be some form of microbial life on Mars producing this methane? Or is it the result of some geological process yet to be understood? These are the questions that scientists are now eager to answer. However, the seasonal methane spikes are not the only evidence of methane on Mars. The European Space Agency's Mars Express orbiter has also detected a large cloud of methane in the Martian atmosphere. This discovery further strengthens the case for a closer examination of Mars's methane mystery. So, what's the takeaway from all this? The discovery of seasonal methane spikes on Mars has opened a new avenue of exploration and speculation. It's a tantalizing hint of the possibility of life or at least of interesting chemistry on the red planet. But as of now it remains just that. A hint. The mystery of Mars's methane is yet to be unraveled. These discoveries made by the Curiosity rover have had a profound impact on our understanding of Mars. Picture this. A world once considered barren and desolate, now teeming with possibilities, brimming with secrets waiting to be unlocked. That's the Mars we've come to know, thanks to the Curiosity rover. It painted a picture of a Mars that was once not too different from our own Earth. The evidence of water on Mars, the discovery of organic molecules, and the seasonal methane spikes has all contributed to this radical shift in our perception. 
The implications of these discoveries are far-reaching. The existence of water is key to life as we know it. The discovery of water on Mars, therefore, opens the possibility that life might have existed there in the past, or who knows it might still be lurking somewhere beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered. The detection of organic molecules adds another layer to this possibility. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life. Their presence on Mars indicates that the conditions necessary for life to form might have been present at some point. But it's not just about the past. These discoveries also have significant implications for the future. The presence of water, for instance, could be crucial for future manned missions to Mars. It could be used for drinking, growing food, or even producing fuel. Seasonal methane spikes are another intriguing discovery. On Earth, methane is primarily produced by biological processes. While we can't jump to conclusions, the seasonal nature of these spikes does hint at the possibility of an active process going on beneath the Martian surface. As we unravel the mysteries of Mars, we are also expanding the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. We're not just exploring a distant planet, we're exploring the possibilities of life beyond Earth, the potential for human settlement, and our place in the universe. The Curiosity rover's discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of Mars, paving the way for future explorations. The Curiosity rover has already made significant discoveries but, what does the future hold for Mars exploration? As we look to the future the Red Planet continues to beckon us with its mysteries and potential. Both NASA and other international space agencies have ambitious plans to unlock further secrets of Mars. So, what's coming up next? NASA's Mars Sample Return Mission, planned for the latter part of this decade, aims to bring back samples from the Martian surface for the first time. This mission is anticipated to provide unprecedented scientific insights into the planet's history and the possibility of past life. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency, in collaboration with Russia's Roscosmos, is preparing for the ExoMars mission. The rover, named Rosalind Franklin, will drill into the Martian surface to analyze its structure and search for signs of life, both past and present. But it's not just about rovers and remote exploration. The ultimate goal of course is to get human boots on Martian soil. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by the mid-2020s as a stepping stone for a manned mission to Mars in the 2030s. SpaceX under Elon Musk's vision is also working tirelessly towards making human Mars colonization a reality within our lifetime. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities, Mars could potentially serve as a lifeboat for humanity or a new frontier for scientific discovery and exploration. The idea of humans living on Mars once the stuff of science fiction is now being taken seriously by scientists and space agencies around the world. The future of Mars exploration is undoubtedly filled with challenges. But, with every problem we solve, every piece of data we collect, we're not just learning about Mars. We're learning about ourselves, our own planet, and our place in the cosmos. The future of Mars exploration is exciting, and we can't wait to see what new discoveries await. Mars, the red planet once shrouded in mystery, is slowly revealing its secrets, thanks to the Curiosity rover. As we draw this cosmic journey to a close, Let's take a moment to reflect on the startling discoveries made by this intrepid explorer and ponder the profound impact they have on our understanding of Mars. Our exploration began with an introduction to Mars and the Curiosity rover, the robotic emissary that has been tirelessly investigating the Martian terrain since its landing in 2012. The rover's mission, we learned, is not just to explore, but to seek answers to questions that have long piqued human curiosity. One such question is whether water, the elixir of life as we know it, ever existed on Mars. The Curiosity rover provided compelling evidence that yes, water once flowed on the red planet. Discovering signs of ancient stream beds and lake deposits, it painted a picture of Mars that was once warmer and wetter, a stark contrast to the arid world we see today, but the rover didn't stop there. It went on to detect organic molecules, the building blocks of life in Martian soil. This finding doesn't prove the existence of life on Mars but it certainly makes the idea more plausible. Adding to the intrigue, the Curiosity rover detected seasonal spikes of methane in the Martian atmosphere. On Earth, methane is often produced by living organisms but it can also come from geological processes. This methane mystery continues to fuel scientific debates and further exploration. These discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of Mars, reshaping our perception of the red planet from a barren wasteland to a world with a potentially habitable past. 
They're also guiding the future of Mars exploration, as we ponder the possibility of sending human explorers to this distant world. As we continue to explore Mars, who knows what other secrets the Red Planet holds? Only time will tell. Until then, keep looking up, and keep exploring. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.